gum. Hey, fuck you, buddy. I'm just trying to help. You giving out pies? No, I ain't giving out pies to you. I think you had one too many. <laughs> Stupid bitch. Oh. You may have noticed something unusually annoying. My teammates forgot how to walk. This is kind of common in this game. I'm not entirely sure what the problem is, but I guess sometimes the pathfinding of the AI just goes haywire for a moment and they forget how to walk. Keep an eye on them. Luckily there is an indication as to when the AI starts uh, losing their goddamn minds. When you see the follow Copy. sign indicated by that little guy next to the portrait of, their, of your teammates uh, blinking, that oh. means that they are having trouble finding you. Either walk back to them to lead them more carefully through the difficult terrain or whatever the fuck they're getting stuck on, or Take manual control of the characters and just walk them through the area yourself. There is an item here which is very useful. A power source. Let's take that. Taking this has given us an additional energy cell. Energy cells can be used in a pinch to give yourself additional weapons energy in the middle of combat. They can also be used uh, for other purposes. I don't remember exactly if Follow they can me. be used uh, to power different devices throughout the game. I think they are able to do that, but uh, oh. like I said, I don't exactly remember. So excuse me. <laughs> I guess we'll figure it out as we go along. This looks familiar. Yes, indeed. This is the bathroom. You can shoot the camera if you wish, but it seems like your weapons are very smart. They don't destroy anyone friendly, including cameras. But this uh, toilet lock, no problem. Freeze the police! <laughs> Whatever. UPA want to find out what you know about last night's disturbance. Ain't seen nothing like it before. That death head gang are always trouble. But never seen them act like that last night. Practically killed the two guards with their bare hands. Didn't seem to feel pain at all. And why'd they want those engineer people anyway? Reckon they were on drugs or something. Their leader? Sure he saw me with those blank eyes. Thought he was gonna do me too. So I ran back and hid down here. Managed to get this though. Thanks. You say they took the technicians? Oh yeah. They only killed the guards as far as I saw. Interesting. So there has been a kidnap to boot. We have received a key card. Control, you got any info on these death head creeps? Sounds like they gone in for some kidnapping as well as murder. Yeah, we have a file. Here it comes. We have received a useful file. A lore file about the Death Head Gang. Let's have a look. What is it? I have missing technicians. Well, these are the guys we're supposed to find. Beautiful textures. By the way, have you noticed how people in this game talk? They just uh, chatter their uh, jaws continuously without any rhyme or reason. It's kind of funny to look at. It's the old school way. Alright, let's see. The Death Head Gang. Underlife gang of youths mainly involved in drug pushing to other underlife and citizens living close to city limits. Gang members wear skull face masks to hide their identities. Known to operate in the region of sections 8 and 9 with a base somewhere below city limits. Low priority. This is how they usually look like. Well, that is correct. We saw a couple already. We no longer need to be down here, so let's move on. So we have some useful data, but now we need to go somewhere. What can we do with that key card? Well, if you have been explorative before, which you most likely have been, you'll note that there was a door which required the key card back here, and this is the door in question. 
select the character which has a the 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 key card and use it. Note that not everyone has access to the items that somebody has. For example, everyone has access to the energy cells. They are in a shared pool. However, not everyone has access to items such as key cards. Only the people that have picked them up have access to them. Presumably because they simply put the damn things in their specific pockets rather than in some shared pool of items. Just an additional element of puzzle, I guess. <laughs> you know, I always like it how in old school uh, games they, they try to simulate certain real life uh, events. In this case, they want to simulate burning trash. But for all intents and purposes, <laughs> they're not doing a very good job because that trash simply clips through the floor of that little pit. You wanna know it's a pit? I can show you. Told you. <laughs> we can actually see the clipping in action. Let's have a look. It's about to happen. Unless I get crushed to death, it shouldn't happen. It just clips through the floor. It can be a little bit difficult to get out of this pit, but don't worry. Amber is perfect for this job because, like I said, Amber is able to survive hazardous environments. That fire deals very little damage over a very long amount of time, so... You could die in there, but it would take such a long time that you probably would have to wait, I don't know, a few hours for that to happen. Certain types of hazardous environments will be able to damage people a little faster. Follow but me. you shouldn't worry about that because Amber is still able to survive long enough to get through. And the environments are never so big that you would have to be worried. Follow me. Like I said, this is a pretty tame game when it comes to action puzzles in the style of Lost Vikings. Unlike Lost Vikings where you can get uh, fucked over by the simplest mistakes, here if you, if you make a simple mistake it's almost like it not, as if nothing has happened. Only the most severe fuck ups can really shit up your experience. To boot, I don't think there's a lot of glitches or bugs in this game either. I mean, I've seen one <laughs> where the corpse of an enemy flipped upside down and started doing the falling animation indefinitely. Um, but that's about it. <laughs> Device inoperable. Sometimes you'll have a situation like this where you have to actually get to the device you want to activate and fix it. We cannot use this item because it's broken. Let's open up this door to have an easier access to other areas should we need them. And here is the ventilation chamber uh, controls. They are locked, so let's unlock them. And this allows us to do stuff. Now, that's all nice and dandy, but uh, here's a pro tip for all new players. You don't have to exit out of any controlled items with a noco to change characters. Simply press the button you wish uh, for, well, the different character you want to control, and that's it. Minoko is currently waiting on standby, overseeing the ventilation chamber controls. Oh. I remember this part. Let's see if I'm gonna fuck it up as I did the last time. Pull the switch to lower down a pipe. Not that it really works because this pipe gets, well, broken and falls down. But the other one starts swinging which allows you to get a little closer. You want to take this a little carefully because uh, collision detection can fuck you up and make you fall down into pits. Okay, now we can activate with Minoko, switch back to Amber and we'll be back to where we are. Minoko can still control this chamber without having to, well, 
get off the controls. As you can see, putting Amber in here first was a good idea. This is a hazardous environment, full of toxic gas. What does it say? Hub... Hub pod system? I think it's trying to say budget system. But the textures are so horrible. <laughs> this is one of the uh, mechanisms which says hold. When you let go of this mechanism, it'll close down the door. This will occur a few more times in the game. It's not the most common thing, but you gotta keep in mind that unless you like uh, wasting your time, you really gotta wait till, well, it finishes doing whatever it's supposed to be doing, then go through. Let's turn on the ventilation. There we go. Activating the ventilation allows us to, well, ventilate the noxious fumes, which will allow the rest of the team to go through. But here's a pro tip. Don't send the entire team in here, because you don't have to. You can keep Amber in here if you feel like it. But as you can see, this is uh, the room with the inoperable door. We need to send someone in there to fix it. And that someone, naturally, is Andre. I remember the first time I did this game, I got stuck on that little ledge just before the pipe. For just a split second, I missed the pipe and I fell down to my death. It was hilarious back then. Not so much nowadays, I imagine. Or maybe it is. I don't know. We'll probably find something to laugh about. Your ears are not deceiving you, by the way. This game really does not have any music. So, I don't know I what to say. <laughs> I like Andre. He's like Bob the Builder. I can repair this. No trouble. <laughs> okay. So we fixed this device. Now we can switch back here and open up this door. Which leads us back here. And you know what? It's a good thing I didn't send the rest of the guys. Me. Let me show you. Take Minoko and Carter and take the shortcut which you opened up earlier. Then simply go through here. Make sure to tag the region station if you feel like it. See that pipe over there? Looks familiar, doesn't it? Let's switch views. Ah, huh. I see the rest of the guys. We've made it to this room. We can open up this door on this side and get the rest of the team to show up here much faster and much easier. Amazing. Now we simply need to operate this device to get some uh, pipes going through. You actually don't need to send all of the teammates through here. Only one person is required for this operation. To go through the pipe, that is. Another person is required to operate the pipe mechanism. Sometimes holding mechanisms are only needed to move somewhere. Like this, uh, this thing. You hold the switch to actually go somewhere. Once you let go, it stops moving. I missed my fall, by the way, so... I smushed into the floor, face first. And this is what I meant when I said you respawn at the last tagged region station. Andre didn't tag the station closest to where everyone is, so he's back here. This is the last one he tagged. So, you gotta go back there. I was not expecting to fall to my death, you know, so... <laughs> I didn't think this would happen. Once you see region tagged show up, that means you have successfully tagged the regeneration spot, so you don't have to worry about uh, that anymore. Okay, this is interesting. There's a UPA access door which can only be opened by Carter, since it has the commander lock. We also only needed one person because this will open up a little bridge for the rest of the team to make it through. Let's take assistance. a moment to tag the regeneration station here and, if necessary, uh, regenerate our weapons energy. 
doing any regions or, well, manipulating any switches with our Amber is a bit awkward, since she has huge hands. HUGE HANDS! <laughs> and, well, she's a bit unwieldy, but whatever. Follow me. I ain't hating on her. Amber's good. Of course, when she's not glitching the fuck out. Okay. So. I'm detecting some evils behind this door. Here's what I'm gonna do. I can position these people in a strategical manner. And I can also switch out some weapons. Amber will have the rocket launcher, so she can shoot shit pretty fucking fast. Problem is, if the rocket launcher is hitting anyone that's too close to friendlies, it will not detonate. So watch out for that. It's a smart rocket launcher. Pretty much all of UPA's weapons are smart weapons. They do not work next to friendlies or on friendlies. So, friendly fire is non-existent. Unless it's some sort of indirect friendly fire. Hmm. Looks messy, Control. I can see that. We need to analyze part of that corpse and see if we can find out what the hell they were on. Must be some kind of steroidal drug to give them the kind of strength we witnessed on that video. Take a sample and send it up here on the access list. Alright, I took a piece of his flesh. <laughs> Nasty. If you want a flashlight, press T. It's T for torch. After all, this is... I think made by ADOS? Or published, who knows exactly. I don't remember. But, well... It is made by someone who is quite British, so they don't call them flashlights, they call them torches. Because, you know, it still does the same fucking thing. I don't get why it's called a torch, though. It's not exactly, okay, well, made out of flames clear. and shit, right. and oily okay, rags. Guys as soon as possible. For now, get your team to the UPA lift. It has a stop within the real meat plant, so you can use it to gain access. The place has gone a bit unstable since that explosion you witnessed. Those technicians were supposed to be repairing the power regulators, but they didn't get very far. Well, it is convenient that there's an elevator stop right to where we need to be. However, that's not going to be the case for most of the game. So let's consider ourselves lucky. Always let your teammates uh, have a bit of a period of grace to catch up with you. Since they take a little bit to catch up, then you start walking from a standstill. I don't get why. And here is the UPA elevator. Including all other objectives, this is the goal of the level. You want to go here with everyone. To make your life a little easier, all UPA elevators have regeneration stations in them. Real meat! Jeez, Control. You weren't kidding about the place being a bit unstable. Calm yourself, Andre. I can handle this. Okay, people. The computers within the plant seem to have gone completely haywire. No one can access them externally, so we need you to get to the control room and shut this place down. In addition, there are still some personnel trapped. We need to get them out of danger. I'm uploading their positions to your scanners, as well as the position of the control room. Alright. The Terminator has saved us once again. Just like in that movie, right? <laughs> Try not to touch the fire. It will hurt. Fire's indeed hot! As you would expect. <laughs> but seriously, in that cutscene, Amber was a fucking Terminator. Just <laughs> it, it's it's kind of silly, but I like it that way. I can handle this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no fucking shit, the place is unstable. The fucking ventilation's on fire! What the fuck? <laughs> okay, electricity, bad. Try not to go through that, if you know what's good for you. Seriously though, they weren't fucking kidding when they said this is unstable. Look, even the dude got a fucking split in his death. Fishes are dying. 
There you go. <laughs> you can squish the fish if you want. That's morbidly realistic. I'm not entirely sure what the point of that is, but... Hey, why not? <laughs> we'll need to come up here for a little something. Seems like some gas pipe is leaking... I don't know... Death? <laughs> so we gotta fix this little problem. The best way to do it is to climb up and shut off the valve, but it's a little unstable, so... <laughs> Let's send the rover to do it. Stand on that table and send the rover. You need to stand on the table because, as you might have expected, the rover is not capable of actually... Well, jumping or climbing up steep objects. The rover happens to have some kind of... I don't know... Control thing majigger which allows it to manipulate simple items with the power of its mind Or something of this sort. I don't know how it does it, but who gives a shit? It's a video game Thank God you're here. The place has gone mad. None of the computers are working properly It's like they're actively working against us The door to this room just shut of its own accord and wouldn't open again You'd better get out of here well, I'm trying, but the fucking door shut. Didn't you listen? <laughs> I bet that's what he wanted to say, but you know, write a D for everyone. <laughs> we got some more cameras to look at. A fuckload more cameras. Let's have a look. Kennels. Uh, why does real meat have kennels? Full of whatever we're supposed to be keeping in here. Research lab. People seem to be kind of panicky. There's gas in that room. Somebody's choking. We'll get to him eventually. There's a central control room. It's like they got a fucking nuclear reactor in here. And, well, unsurprisingly, it is going insane as well. Great. I hope Amber's got plenty of insulation. There's the meat storage. Well, it looks pretty meaty, all right. Meaty and bloody. Maybe you can see some meat? Nah, I doubt it. Well, I do see somebody standing around there. And here's the security lock override. You'll need to override this. You can notice now that after the first uh, tutorial uh, unlocking sequence, every other locks that you need to hack now have a time limit. So you can't dilly-dally forever. Okay, so now this has opened up all of the doors that have been locked before. All of these simple glass doors, that is. Now, of course, the most simple solution to the problem would be to simply smash the window to... No, window doors. Of, of course. The future is so shit they have windows for doors. <laughs> no, you, the easiest solution would be to just simply destroy the fucking glass doors. But, you know... When is that gonna happen? When are we ever gonna be that sensible? Also, we just destroyed some mutant rats, but don't worry about that. It's real meat. Watch out. The electric locks on the lab creatures' cages have failed. They're all loose. And Professor Dunster... Oh, it was horrible. Oh, the inhumanity! Okay, well, how do we get out of here? <laughs> oh, yes, sir! Shoot that gas canister! <laughs> oh, yeah! This gives me a chubby. Oh fuck, what the hell's going on with those dogs? What the hell's wrong with them? They're all ugly looking and they explode in green goo. Follow me. You think that's the worst of it? Just you wait. I need some but this is the beginning of a new adventure. You thought the real me just had a simple problem? Hell no. It's gonna make us do all kinds of weird shit. It's gonna make us shoot dogs, it's gonna make us find gangsters, it's gonna make us traffic drugs, I guess, it's gonna make us read, it's gonna be awful. I hope you're ready for an epic adventure. Oh fuck, I shouldn't have done that! <laughs> now the fucking dogs are loose. At least it's not sharks. Anything but sharks. I mean, you'd think we wouldn't have that in this game, but... You never know. Street sharks were a thing. They could have gotten some silly inspiration. 